Today we're talking about disposable grips for your tattoo machine. There are a ton of different disposable grip brands on the market. These are just the ones that I've tested out. I'm gonna rank these from my favorite to my least favorite. I'll go through pricing and who I think each grip is best for. So let's get into it. What I'll do is I'll open up one of each of these brands. There's 10 of them, and then I'm gonna test it out on the Vlad Blad Avenger 2 Pro. I'll show you how it fits. I'll let you know my thoughts, pricing, and then I'm going to rate them from my favorite to my least favorite. Starting off in no particular order, we'll start off with one of the Tat Soul grips. These are the Gen 2 cartridge grips. I believe that's what they're searched as on their website. For a box of 10 of these, it is $16.99, which makes it $1.69 per grip. Now inside of the actual package, it's only the grip. There's not the push bar inside. You have to go inside of the box and there is a bag that comes with all the different push bars for it. Also, you do have to bring your own nipple to this party to attach it to your tattoo machine. It doesn't come with one of those. They do feel nice in the hand. They're not super hard they do have a little bit of squish to them. Anytime I do use one of these grips though, I do wrap it to make it a little bit thicker because I do like a thicker grip in my hand. I guess for now, since it is the first one that I did, it will go in first place. Next, we'll grab the Rogue Grips from True Tube. These are $31.99 for a box of 16, which makes it $1.99 per grip. Now, these grips do come with a push bar, but it does not come with a nipple. The interesting thing about these grips is the push bar. I've never seen the end be like a plunger like like that before. I do like that though because I think having that flat bottom opposed to having a little bit more of a rounded bottom is probably really good to kind of stabilize the cartridge and make sure that it doesn't jump around at all. But unfortunately that is about the only thing that I like about these grips. They are super hard and uncomfortable and not only that if you get a little bit of moisture on your gloves while you're tattooing they become very slippery. So if you're going to be using these you definitely need to be wrapping this in grip tape or your fingers will be slipping all around. Even though they do have all of these like texture marks, these don't prevent your fingers from slipping at all. Not only that, there is no cushion, there is no give in them, so it's just straight hard grip, which makes just for a very uncomfortable tattooing experience. So, so far I would put the Rogue Grips from True Tube in last place. Next, let's go with the FK Irons Click Ergo Grips. These are the disposable version of the reusable tubes that they offer. These grips are $29.99 for a box of 24, which means that these are $1.24 per grip. Now these are adjustable grips so then that way you don't have to loosen up the vise on your tattoo machine to adjust the depth of your needle. These come with a push bar and also their own nipple. This is going to be the most amount of times I ever say nipple in a video. So I was a little bit skeptical about these at first. Having a twisting mechanism that's made of plastic, I wasn't really sure how long this would hold up. But so far in my tests, this has worked really well. The only thing that I want to say is I do like to wrap these grips just because I do like to have a thicker grip like I mentioned. These are already very grippy. You're not going to be slipping around. These are made of like a rubber and your gloves really stick to it. I was a little bit concerned about the mechanism being made of plastic. Um, I didn't want it to be like changing needle depth while I was tattooing. But as you can see, it sticks in place and it doesn't change around on its own. So for me, these would go above the tat sole grips. Up next, let's grab Precision's disposable grips. These are just a soft cartridge grip. These ones you can buy at Painful Pleasures. For a box of 20 of these, it is $18.99, which comes out to 94 cents per grip, which makes this the cheapest grip on today's list. These grips don't come with a push bar or a nipple, so even though it is the cheapest grip on the list, I'm not really sure if it's the best deal because you still have to spend money on buying extra supplies for it. It's a very straightforward and simple grip. It has a very grippy rubber texture, but it is a very thin grip and I would be wrapping this for sure. Overall, it is what it is. It's a budget grip, uh, but I am going to put it above the True Tube grip. Next, we'll go with the Tat Soul Gel Grips. Now, these are the most pricey ones on the list, I believe. These are $26.99 for a box of 10, which comes out to $2.69 per grip. These grips come with a push bar, no nipple, but as soon as you take this out of the package, you can feel the squishy quality, the squishy comfort, and honestly, all I really want to do is bite on it. I'm a really big fan on how these feel in my hand just because of how comfortable they are and also the very extreme grip texture. You're definitely not slipping around even if this is completely wet. And also these are really nice for long tattooing sessions because it's basically like a gel bike seat for your butt except 
except for for your fingers. Now, one thing I will say about these is that they are so super squishy that it kind of absorbs so much vibration that it's kind of difficult to get used to at first because for me, when I'm tattooing, I go off of the vibration in my hand to tell how deep I'm supposed to be going with the needle. So these absorb a ton of vibration and will take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's really nice for long tattooing sessions. So this will now move up into the number one spot above the FK irons and other tat sole grip. Next, we'll go with the Kingpin disposable grips. These are a box of 25 and they are $37.99, which makes this $1.51 per grip. These grips come with their own push bar, no nipple. And the cool thing about these grips, even though they are more so on the budget side of things, they do have a very aggressive texture, so then that way you have a very solid grip on your tattoo machine while you're tattooing. The only thing that I would say about these is I wish that they came with a thicker option because I will definitely be wrapping this grip. Now for me, these are on par with the red tat sole grips. These are a tie for third right now. I can't really decide which one I like better just because they're basically the same exact grip from just two different companies. The Kingpin grip is $1.51 per grip, and the Tat Sole grip is $1.69 per grip. So if you're looking for more of a budget-friendly one, you're saving by like 20 cents by going with the Kingpin grip. Next, we'll go with the last Tat Sole grip on the list. These are the Tat Sole Nexus grips. This comes in a bunch of different sizes, but these are the one and a half inch grips. These ones are $23.99 for a box of 10, which comes out to $2.39 per grip. So these are more so on the high end side of pricing. Just like the other Tat Sole grips, the push bar is not in the actual package. They come in a little baggy, and they do not come with a nipple. So this is the middle of the road price-wise when it comes to the Tat Sole grips that are on this list. And truthfully, this one is my favorite out of all three that they have. It has a similar texture and feeling to the Gen 2, but it's just a little bit softer, but it's not as soft as the gel grips. Also, what I really like about these is you can get your hand all wet and you're not going to slip on this at all. Also, with the one and a half inch grip, I don't have to wrap this at all with any type of grip tape. This is already at a size that I really like. And the last thing that I really like about these grips is they are the heaviest grips that I have on the list. It really brings the weight forward instead of having the weight on the back of your hand because of the machine. Having the weight in your hand opposed to on the back of your hand really helps get the ink in and it just makes for a more comfortable tattooing experience. Now even though these are the middle of the road price wise when it comes to the tat sole grips, I will put this above the most expensive gel grips that they have to offer just because of the way that it feels in my hand. I'll probably move these up a little bit. They're just chilling all the way over here about to fall off the table. Now the next three grips are pen style disposable grips. Uh, two are specifically made for the Bishop wand and and then the other one is made for Cheyenne machines. So the first ones that we're gonna do are the disposable ones from Bishop. These are made specifically for the Bishop wand from Bishop. I only have one left in this box. Now these come in three different sizes. This is the middle of the road size because the biggest ones are always sold out. Now a box of 15 of these will run you $34.99, which is $2.33 per grip. And these work perfectly on the Bishop wand. They're made specifically for it. They screw on and off really nice and smoothly. The grip, if you don't wanna wrap it in a grip tape, already is grippy enough. You're not gonna slip around these at all. Next, we'll go with the FYT grips. These are made for the Bishop wand. They actually have two different sizes. These ones are made for the Bishop wand and these are for the Cheyenne ones. These ones do fit on the Bishop wand, but not very well. Now the FYT disposables, these are $32 for a box of 24, which is $1.33 per grip, which is a whole dollar less per grip than the Bishop wand ones. They fit nice and snug right up to the rim of the machine. They don't slide as smoothly as this just because the inside of the grip right here only the plastic comes down to right here. So the grip comes up a little higher, which kind of gives a little bit of friction on the machine, but that's not really a big deal. It is a foam grip, so it's really comfortable. It's not as grippy as the Bishop wand grips. I would definitely go for the FYT grips over the Bishop grips, just because it's a whole dollar cheaper per grip. Before I end the video, I do want to tell you what I use each grip for, like in what situation. So for long days of tattooing, I really like the Tat Soul Nexus grips, or the gel grips. But I will be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna be buying any more of the gel grips just because the way that they feel better in my hand, I feel like I get a little bit better of a response from the skin with them, so I'm able to gauge my needle depth better with them. Even though the FK Irons grip is in third place, I'm probably not gonna be buying these any 
anymore. Just because I don't care enough about the clip grip function, if this is something that you really want in your disposable grip, then go for it. Now for quick tattoos, or if you're doing a lot of walk-ins, I would recommend either the Tat Soul Gen 2 grips or the Kingpin grips. Both of these are on par. They're basically the same grip, just from a different company. And in last place, these two grips, I'm never gonna buy these again, the Precision ones or the True 2. And lastly, the grips for the Bishop wands. The Bishop grips are great, but then the FYT, they are a really good budget option if you wanna save a dollar per grip. So that's it for me. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions about any of these, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If not, I hope that you have a good day.